In this video, I'll be showing you how to transfer programs to your TA83, TA84 calculator. The first thing you need is the TI Connect software. So if you search on Google, this first link should pop up. I'll also put in the description. X out of this banner, and depending on which operating your system, download the correct software. I'm on a PC, and I want the English version. Choose somewhere to save this, and then run the executable file. And now the installer should initialize. Click Next. Of course you want to accept. You could change the program directory if you want. Next again. And it is installed. Now you should be able to find the TI Connect software. You want the TI Device Explorer, but before you do that, make sure you have a mini USB cable, not a micro USB, and connect it to your calculator using the port at the very top. You also need to make sure your calculator is on, or else the software won't recognize it. So click TI Device Explorer, and your calculator should pop up. In the program subsection, you'll see any programs you currently have on the calculator. Now we have the software, we just need a program. If you're doing prime factorization, for example, there already exists a program to do that. So I'm just going to search for a program, and I know that this first link, I know that this B prime program works because I've used it. You just click download, choose somewhere to save it. And when you're searching for the internet for these programs, you want to make sure that the program you get has an 8xp file extension. So I'm going to extract this because it's a zip archive using WinRAR, but since it's a zip, you don't have to. The important thing is this file which has the .8xp file extension. If you want to edit a program, you can upload it to this site, semtech.net or semtech. You choose the file, there we have that file, and here you can edit stuff using the programming language. You just have to be careful with the syntax. If you want to create your own program, you can go main menu and choose new file, ti file, and a program. Yes, we want to replace the project. If you want to use this as a note program, you could just type text enclosed in quotes so it doesn't accidentally execute stuff. You need to give the program a name. It has to be letters or numbers, no underscores, and no dashes, and it has to start with a letter. Click export, and now this will save another program. Finally, in the device explorer, just navigate to where you have those two files saved. Now you just drag these two files into the window. You don't have to worry about hitting the program window, but you do not want them to be in the flash archive section, or else the programs will be archived. This takes a long time because the calculator has a few megabytes of memory, whereas the computer has gigabytes. Your calculator will be unusable during this state, so just be patient, and I'll edit out some of the longer transfer times. This window will refresh, and now you see that the two programs we have now in the list. You can delete stuff by right-clicking or hitting the delete key, but be careful because there's no delete confirmation. Deleting stuff also takes a long time. If you wanted to duplicate, I could copy the test program over here and rename it test2. But now when I drag it, I might get an error. You see, even though I changed the name, it recognized that the contents of the file were identical, so I'm going to have to rename. Now I can type test2, as long as you keep the same naming conventions, starting with a letter and no special characters. And now you see test2 is here. You can always copy programs back to your computer to clear out some storage on your device. Just drag to the left, but since I already have the same file, I'm not going to do that. And just to prove to you that those programs transferred, I'm going to go to Program, which is this button here. And to execute, let's choose that prime factor one. You choose the prime factor of, let's say, five, and it gives the prime factors of one and five, since it's prime. I could execute that program again, and choose the prime factors of twelve, and see it gives me there. For the second program, test and test two would be identical, and we want to edit which basically means view, because we don't have any instructions in it, it's just text. And there you have your programs transferred to your TA-84.